Hi traders, welcome to the recording of my live trading session and take a look at the special occasion today. We have a huge gap up. The S&P is up more than 2% and you do not go long when something like this happens. You wait for a short opportunity because the market is likely to fade down. Profit taking, whatever the reason is, you do not go long with a huge gap up like this. So I'm looking for short opportunities. Take a look at Boeing. Boeing is clearly trending lower. It just spiked up from the lows, but it's trending lower. So I'm about to short Boeing and I'm going to short 4,000 shares, shorting it right now, expecting it to continue the downtrend. Now looking for other opportunities, take a look at shop. Shop is not as, as risky as Boeing, so I'm going to do it with 8,000 shares shorting now because again, I think the market is likely to fade and I think shop is likely to follow the market. Not only is shop, there's plenty of opportunities and in fact I'm looking for the best opportunities right now take a look at Mana it's probably the best why because the stock is already in red the market is still up close to two percent and Mana is at the lows trending lower clearly trending lower I'm shorting it right now 4,000 shares now I took a bigger risk in, with Mana because the stop loss is approximately two point but I trust the market to continue now take a look at the S&P the S&P is moving lower we just touched a new low these are uh, five minute candles that's the third five minute candle and definitely coming down profit taking whatever you like to call it Airbnb is also uh Pushing the lows. I'm going to short 4,000 shares for sh shorting it right over here and again expecting it to come down. Again, looking for stocks which I believe are a little bit more weak than others. Now, that's the, the layout of my screen. That's my main screen. That's how I watch all four trades. You can see that at the bottom I'm watching the SP 500 and the NASDAQ and I'm watching every stock. And right now I'm watching Airbnb and sadly it's approaching my stop loss just over 120 and I just moved out with a loser. Three left. Sadly, my first one was a loser but as you can see Marna is with the market with the trend and I'm taking my partial and um, here leaving just 400 shares took a $4,000 partial with Marna and uh, the rest are doing well too shop just reached my target and uh, I'm up almost three grands as you can see here and I will take my partial will cover 7600 shares right now leaving 400 shares so that worked out as well and you can see that the market is did move lower and now it's pulling back up a little bit now the pullback that you're seeing here is exactly a 61.8% Fibonacci. So I think we are likely to come down. What I missed is my partial in Boeing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add 2,000 shares to my short in Boeing. I'm taking a big risk because Boeing did move up, but the market keeps coming lower. You see the market here, it's approaching the lows. I just added at this point, I added to Boeing, expecting Boeing to come down. Now, Boeing did reach my target earlier. I thought I'm going to get more, so I kind of missed my opportunity. Now, there's another opportunity here with AMD, and I'm shorting here 4,000 shares. And again, the market is approaching the lows, and I believe it's going to continue. Same with Netflix. Take a look at Netflix. Netflix is is looking good for another uh, for a short opportunity so I will be shorting right here 2,000 shares taking a, a smaller quantity in Netflix because it's a big mover I'm looking for approximately two points so I'm going to fast forward Netflix so you can see what happened the market kept coming down Netflix came down with the market it's a relatively weak reporting at the end of the day today and just broke down under the lows I've got a $5,000 winner taking my partial right over here so Netflix worked out extremely well AMG just AMD just reached my target I'm up $2,500 and I'm covering right over here leaving 400 shares for the continued move so it's all about really watching the trend of the S&P 500. Here's the S&P 500. Came down initially because there's more profit taking than anything else when the market's getting up so strongly and then pulled back up exactly to the Fibonacci point where people would start selling again and then came down to a new low and that's the end of my trading session today. I still have some open trades but um, my close trade as you can see right over here up, up more than $16,000. So I had uh, five green trades today and one loser in Airbnb which crashed later but I missed the crash. Anyway it took me out and I've, I'm, I'm left with a, just an absolutely fantastic day and Again, it all has to do with the S&P 500 direction. It all has to do with following the trend. And that's the only thing I've done today. Did not trust the market to continue higher and it worked out. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you give me a like, it helps 
this channel and help small people like you enjoy day trading videos and please subscribe there's a button right here and hit on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads and plenty of links right here below one of them is to the colmex pro platform which i have been using and i believe it's one of the world's best trading platform but please start with a demo it will not cost you anything to start with a demo so just click on the link below start with the demo remember the trading is extremely hard and most traders lose money so please start with the demo don't risk your hard-earned money thank you very much for watching this video and i see you in my next video